right, very good uh, morning. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good time. Uh, Yamkini ya kwamba, mchakufu fu hu 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 su hu lu hu sharti ainami. I'm trying to be Rashid. Lakini kidogo, ime? Mwanafuwa mekosa hu. Na ukipata hu. Ni hura. That's throwing words in there. I hope you had a beautiful day yesterday and that your morning has started well. And if it hasn't, probably, hopefully, at the end of the show, it will be better. Uh, it is Tuesday, so we talk about some social matters. Introduce the panel here. Roberto Bobby. Wagon. Uko vipi? Niko salama sana. Netu umesema, umeniambia before show yanzi. Yeah, unakatuko at peace. Just chilling, quiet. Nakula tu matunda na kunyo maji. Nalalai now. Akula mtu anani stress. Uko tu sawa. Uko tu sawa. Niko happy. Uko vipi? Ana mi niko sawa. Uh, natumia vitamin C kwa skin, you know, <laughs> drinking some water. No cleanser, cleanser. Cleanser, cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God name so, yeah. God name so. Uh, na lala enough, uh, hapo nani madanganya. <laughs> Miss lala enough. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> At least not yet. <laughs> Give me like two, three years yeah. or four. And I'll be back in it. It'll come through. It'll come through. All right. CJ, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I... No, you want to say something? Go on. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> CJ's team is number 20. You know, you know, he's not doing well. Yeah. One point. He's not doing well. He's not doing well. He's not doing well. A point. It was a draw. <laughs> But it's okay. Um, no, we are not. We are just okay. uh, spitting facts. Yeah, it's no longer even from gra from from Nene Grace to Grace. It's from Grace to Liverpool. <laughs> Things are thick. <laughs> Things are. <laughs> However, watch and check. I know how it feels to be there. And again, there's no guarantee that we won't be there next season. Things change. Check him and Zaku akiwa chini. Nisawa tu. But CJ makes better decisions in life other than Liverpool. <laughs> he is a good man. Shut up. Wagwan. Maunda. Yes, I. Hey, what's that? Because I'm not. Because I'm not. Yeah. I'm not going to get that Amen. Yes. <laughs> Ndio ndio yongea kinduli watu wengi ushangaa sana by the way. Na wana yongea fiti. Mmesema nini hapo sasa? Nimesema watu nyumbani salimikeni. Hebu sema tena pole pole sasa jamii. Sasa hii sasa ndakuwa naongea kitu kingine. Kinduli lazima uongee kama BPM imewekwa huko juu. You have to like you like you listen to techno. Sawa. Uweze na pole pole. Ndio mama usikethe kai. Okay. Yes. Very good. Na ndio ndio la muenda na kwela wela. Wela wela. Kuelo wela is to view. Oh, to view? Is kuelo wela. Kuelo wela? Kuelo wela. Enye, ata sisi I don't think to kuna to view. No, I enjoy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so today we have an interesting topic, as always though. We want to talk about something that's going on in these beautiful streets of Nairobi and also in Kenya. It is something that's not talked about, but it's happening. Personally, I know about five, six people who have been kept and I'm not talking about, you know, the deep quotes, oh, the one he kept for me. No, no, no. This is a uh, boy child, mostly to mezoya kusema sponsor. Ame, ame ko dem, ame mnunia nyumba kilimani, ame mnunia nini sijuapi. However, there are some boy children <laughs> who have been kept in these streets. They are living, they are kazi yao ni kukatu nyumbani na ku spend pesa ya mama. Now there is that category. Then there is also the other category who, you know, maybe they are in a transition. So maybe they've lost a job, and now it's now the 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 wife who is fending and taking care of the family. So there are those two sets of people we want to talk about today. And we want to ask you uh, this particular question. Uh, I don't. Know. Yes, there it is. Do you think it is okay for a man to be quote unquote kept by a woman? Do you think it's okay for a man? to be kept by a woman. The SMS line is 22422, uh, and uh, you can use the hashtag Daybreak on Twitter. Uh, so remember, SMS 22422, and hashtag Daybreak on Twitter. Even just by looking at the question, I see Shata is already mulling over <laughs> the issue. So we'll start with you today, Shata. Now I'm already going to talk about what you're doing. I'm going to accuse you. 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 Inonekana unaumu. No. 
<laughs> no, what's the, the, the answer to the question? Yes. Uh -huh. I've not asked the question. I've asked the question. <laughs> yes. Yes. The answer is no. Mm -hmm. It's a big no. Mm -hmm. That men should not be kept. Mm -hmm. But it is happening. Why is it happening? That is the question. Mm -hmm. In my in my thinking, I think our vijana wasai omekosa mentorship. And there's a day we spoke with CJ, and we say, <coughs> so that which he writes in his books, he needs to tell me, then I will tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell them. Yes. Because clearly, he generation ya vijana asai, hakuna mm -hmm. mentorship. You see, CJ tuki grow, kluko tunona Buddha, home, bila na behave, ye endo wana provide, wana fanya kila kitu, you get. So it grows in you. But right now, unfortunately, that is not happening to many households that kuna single parenting and the baby ni buda peke maybe ni mother peke una get buda mostly akwagi mm. na kama yuko hata akitafuta sana sana ni watu yao wanaanga ni mother ana provide mm. una get ju buda anakujanga tu amenyamaza anapatia madhedo una get yeye ameenda kutafuta so sasa ile watu yao wanaanga nani ana provide ni mother like hakuna mentorship ya vijana ile ni akalishwa tu chini that thing i kept saying that a generation decided to empower the girl child because she needed empowering but in the process of empowering her, they forgot to mentor the boy child also. Unaget, which appropriately in mentoring the girl child was perfect. That one was needed, you see, and 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 strengthening her. But again, it we should not have negated the fact that the boy child exists also, and he has to be mentored mm -hmm. and told A B C D. Mm -hmm. So right now they are existing in a vacuum and in a in a in a confusion that they do not know how to get themselves out of it, and for them it is okay. You know, get for you, because you saw the world in a different scope in your upbringing. It is different. You because wako ni una feel ifi. But yeye haju ivo. No one ever told him. He's never seen it growing up. Yeye na feel first of all, kama kuna kuna mtoni gluzi zaiswa lijana akaniambia. Do you know the amount of disrespect you demata kwa nakupati aki kuweka? So he can ni ni kamuliza. First of all, do you think who Chalia has your respect? Ninini? Let's start there. That and I feel he'll be disrespect, disrespected by the woman. But again, does he even understand the term respect to start with? Yeah, it's normal. You disrespect it's normal. You know what So in my opinion, this is happening, yes. <coughs> now it is so serious that Squeezy, I'm a girl picking it. Ndiyo wanaenda. Gial pikini. Yeah man. Ndiyo Friday jioni wanaenda kwa campus kuchukua vijana. Mm. It used to be the other way. Tukiwa campus tukwa nila complaining that mabuda wana kuja kuchukua madem. Mm. Squeezy ni ma, ni ma auntie wana pull up kwenye campus. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah, man. Vijana wana pop in. So, kuja na nini? Isma. Kuja na watu wako. Kam na mbogi. Kam na mbogi. Yes. Kam na kinini. Yeah man. Na kitulu. <laughs> kitulu lululu. <laughs> It's terrible, man. Yeah. But if you ask me, I'm an woman who keep you. Evil to like, where 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 come a woman? That's it. All right. What do you think, Bobby? You know, listening to men speak is very interesting. <laughs> 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 because, like, like you guys set the rules for patriarchy, and then you uphold the patriarchy, and then when it becomes enforced, like when the society treats you like that's what you're for. Then again, you like get annoyed. I'm not saying shatter. I'm just saying, like generally, because what does being kept even mean? I mean, if you take that men are solely for providence, if their job is providing, then that's okay. And your relationship, go and look for someone who provides. Like right. that, that's what fits your relationship, and that's okay. But there's relationships where men are uh, are they called house husbands? Mm. Where well, they say, like, is our arrangement Zico, where Hakuna is all dynamics are who makes the money, who does what, need to relationship you work to Skizane, Vitu to Zifanye Pamoja. I mean, it's good to work on yourself and to be independent on your own, especially with the economic times that we're in. But then again, there's a whole section of relationships where that's the dynamics. The dynamics is, a, is that. The woman goes out and fends for the family. I mean, whatever the situation is, it's, there's relationships that are working like that. Personally, I would prefer, prefer a provider man. I would prefer to be in a relationship with someone who uh, provides for the relationship. But there's women who are not like that. So I would come back to me that is if it was a hazimata sazile mnapendana na sazile relationship in work as long as kuna 
consistent and amazing communication. Mm-hmm. Kuna boundaries <coughs> set, kuna standards na kuna venye melewana. The thing where maybe uh, I would talk about being kept is maybe if the relationship is not consensual, mm-hmm. if maybe the dynamics come from a place of uh, maybe the woman is superior to some way in the man, so the man is being, I, I don't know if I can use the word groomed or something, mm-hmm. Ama the man is taking advantage of the woman in the relationship by not choosing to not be productive deliberately, had bring anything like a changi anything to the relationship na me decide to cook at home intentionally but i think in the event that a man is going through a transition uh, a job transition or the arrangement is that the man can stay home and take care of the home and the woman works such relationships are there and it is not happen so i think let's not knock things off of personal opinion like mimi naweza sema eh mimi sizi date chalika wewe but kuna dem and a date chalika na wako sawa na wana anakuocha na sema hmm eh no no na ile mimi msinikatie mimi taki relationship but i think it's 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 working for, it works for some people say kwa devil that okay but I mean <laughs> yeah I think such relationships are there and yeah. work out. and I've seen them in movies I've seen the representation in movies <laughs> I've seen it in Bobby Bobby Sasa nataka kuna Bobby No but I mean sitaki kudanganya that najua couple at personally that in a work but for something to be shown in that way even in a movie it means it's a reflection of society it means it may happen pahali ndo mtu andike script ndio ioneshwe kwa movie or something like that so I think that in relationships it's very important to have these discussions. Anything can happen. Your man can lose their job. So what next after that? How are you going to continue? Are you guys going to be okay with him staying home and you know taking care of the fort while how is it going to happen? Such discussions should just be had in the water dre where we are at what I want. But kitu yenye naweza insist sana ni ukuwe very aware of what you really want for yourself and for the relationship. Mm-hmm set your boundaries and standards and say this is what i want so that it was so easy to knock out zile vitu zenye uwezi settle for mm. like me na draw kenya nataka so already na draw what so where you take yeah anything i mean less i mean i can make rules when you know you can always make rules when, you, also when you're not right. in that situation mm. but when it actually happens so nda break up na msaid you job imekatika you know ni ku have communication na conversations about such things but I don't know personally I wouldn't be in such a relationship but I'm just saying I think they work. They work. Yeah. There are people who, and if you are in one you can tell us the dynamics and how it works. It's open. Again, if you want to be discreet and not let everybody know your business, on the 222242 don't leave your name uh, or where you're watching just send the message on our SMS platform. <clears throat> Big part on 22422 and then after that uh, yeah but if you use the hashtag unless you're using a pseudonym like Turkish border 27252 <laughs> then in our Ngori CJ what do you think about it but before that kuna uh, honorable Nguna Charles sijuko na mjua eh upande wa mwe alikuwa wa mwe gay west yeah man eh yeah. amesema salimia shato mwambie my son is his fan um, anataka dread kama yake lakini ame, anaenda shule leo so nimwambia dread looks ni wanaume wako na watoto watano but it's all good aji aji prepare for grandchildren boys eh itakuwa tawapata itakuwa no masana thank you so much for the feedback cj what do you think about this Uh, I don't I don't think we can call it new but it's happening. What do you think about it? I think the the first mistake you made. Mimi? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. is, is to try and put the two scenarios together. Okay. Men who have either lost jobs or are going mm-hmm. through something mm-hmm. and have to be taken care of right. and putting them together with those who are being kept the ones those, who are being those are um, mutually exclusive okay wale wako kept no gani wale wako kept advantage yes wale wako advantage wale wametulia tu kama ule mwenye okay na mama akiprovide kila kitu amekuja amechukuliwa maybe yako 19 na kuona feed girl de mako sema atako atako 25 atako 25 atako 30 lakini yeye upadu mtaani mama aende apie mboka arudi 
Yeye yeah, kazi yake oh, ni anacheza PS which is good. Napenda venye mnacheta juu. Atutete tunawaambia. Atutawaambia. Ana yani it happens so the lady takes care of everything, provides everything. Analipa and is the word gives him money to go and chill with the boys. Okay. Izo. Can you just <laughs> Yeah. So, I don't so think those, exclusive. Thank you for that situation. I don't think those two kinds of men should be in the same bracket. Right. Mm. Because one is productive <laughs> but <coughs> through a situation. Right. Yes. Which is very understandable. Uh but there's the other one whose job is to get hooked to a lady. Right. That's the job application he sent. <laughs> <laughs> so you you'll see them, you'll see them by how much time they spend on grooming themselves because mm. they have become uh, their yeah, look the feminine Yeah, their their looks are their CV. Mm. Mm. And then they're usually very smooth with their words. Uh, they know the right things to say. Um, they focus a lot on pleasing the woman. You you can tell with that they have nothing going on for themselves. No vision, no ambition. They feel if they get Roberta and she has some money, that's all they need. That's it. Then they will make her happy. Mm. So they will find what uh, dishes she loves. They will do the cleaning up of the house. Uh, they will uh be bringing in the little gifts she'll put money and then they take from that money buy a little gift here and wherever so their whole job is to please this woman and especially emotionally and uh on the other side <laughs> as well yeah man <laughs> he has all the time he has all the time, <laughs> he has all the time to yeah. <laughs> to watch all kinds of styles he has all the time to <laughs> to study all kinds of stuff show himself yeah. so a proof <laughs> So and and he knows that for this woman, as Shata talked about the empowered woman, right. some of them in pursuit of their career and education, they didn't have relationships. So by the time they're waking up, they're probably at an age where there are not enough men who would relate with them. So they have to go younger. You know, probably she's now at 35, 40. There are not enough men there who are single, um, who are not divorced, or who don't have other issues. And sometimes she also doesn't want to get into a relationship that she feels is going to be very committing. Mm -hmm. She's used to her independence, her money, whatever. So she'll look for somebody who meets her needs. Mm -hmm. But this person does not control her, does not determine what she does. She's not answerable to this guy. So it is actually a very symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. She has the money. This guy needs it. And maybe he needs it to take care of another girlfriend now who is his own age. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a whole... It's, Amanda it's, Kazi, <laughs> na Narudi na returns. Maybe I'm yeah. not here working for you, but it's yeah. the other thing. Yeah. And then the guy knows... He takes care of this lady, the massages, you know, the emotional needs that this woman has. It's, it's a very abusive, if you ask me, okay. relationship on both sides. Okay. Even though it is symbiotic, it's very abusive because it's based on manipulation. Mm. Where these two people fear losing each other for the benefits that they get. So nobody is really in this relationship for growth, for progress. Mm. Nobody is there for productivity. It's, I don't want to lose her because I'm going to lose a source of income. And then I don't want to lose him because my bed will be cold. I don't want to lose him because he changes my tires. I don't want to lose him because he'll take the car to the garage or, you know, for the car wash and stuff. But generally, when you look at the communication around that, I agree with Shata, there's a lot of disrespect, mm. a lot of disrespect over there. Um, so the guy will be driving the car probably during the day, but you'll be called at any point. You'll be called from anywhere. And the, mostly the shouting you will get because the car is not by her office at about 5 p.m. I mean, just go and get a job. Get a job, walk your way to the EPZ, walk your way to industrial area, get some dignity as a man. It doesn't mean that you must have too much to provide, but there is something about having your own money that gives you a sense of respect. That even when you are relating with somebody, not for control purposes, but then you're not there as a needy person in this particular relationship. There are those, you know, uh, Roberta said movies reflect life, but I think sometimes the movie world tries to direct how we live. Mm. 
<clears throat> they want to bring concepts that will become normal to us because uh, they're always thinking about what's the next thing to create. So they might create something that is not even happening. Then it begins to shape our perception. Then we begin to accept it and feel like this is what we need to do. They're, they're, from interactions, Willis, um, they are people you will see and feel this marriage is working or this relationship is working until you talk to a lady who takes care of a man. And well, maybe there are those who will be comfortable and for various reasons, including personality, including right. sometimes their, their need to control and stuff. But you will, you will hear generally women say, I don't feel like a woman mm -hmm. in this relationship. Even if she's earning, she wants to know that this man does certain things, takes care of her, does certain stuff. So you'll realize that even the bedroom is getting affected mm. because the woman feels, I can't give you everything plus the bedroom. Mm. I can't be putting food on the table, be giving you fuel for the car that I'm paying a loan for, <laughs> and you're living in a house that I'm too. paying rent for, and still come... Uh, you've been eating groundnuts the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> that she bought. <laughs> that she bought. Groundnuts you didn't even buy. You're on a diet that's stipulated by someone else. I love you. And you still nice. expect Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> 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 probably at a, well there are those who will probably cook nini but so maybe you still have to come cook nini and, for my uh, man do everything anyway so i want to ask so, do you think what cj said is so is there a, um you know that, that feeling that you need to feel as a woman to be taken care of, um, if that goes, and this happens over time, but then when you talk to me, you end up with girl them. Do you well, think that feeling kind of, it quickly turns into, I'm looking forward, resentment, yeah. and then disrespect, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say that as a woman who's uh, very comfortable in my feminine energy, that's why I seek out uh, partner who's uh, very dominant in his uh, male energy. And this is because I want someone who's able to provide and give me the security that I need, even emotionally, not just at the namambozado. Like I need someone who's able to be confident and able to hold down the fort. So that's the dynamic that I prefer for my relationships. And I find that when I'm in such situations, it's easier because like CJ said, I'm able to just be the woman. Mm -hmm. I don't have to lead, make decisions, decide things, panga vitu. I can just relax and be the nurturing person who just multiplies things and creates things. I'm able to rest. I'm able to bring the peace into the relationship. So it's, it's just a, a bit easier that way because I feel like that's how the dynamics fit. Uh, but like I said, other people are different, but that's what I prefer for myself. And it's... I don't want to say it's true that it uh, ultimately turns into resentment because then again, it solely d depends on the kind of relationship that you're in. In my situation, I feel like I should be able to just communicate that this relationship is not working before I think I your point in it. Nanza kuchoka na nanza feel resentment. That's why I keep saying. So in this scenario, you're taking care of this person. So you're telling them, yo, I can't do this. Yeah, because I already know what I want. Neza pretend ama neza try ku for a while, but ultimately to eat away out, but that's because that's me. I mean, I do not want to be one to say, you know, this is how relationships should be. This is how a man should be. This is how a woman should be because people are very, very different and people are making their relationships work in the ways that they want them to work. So it the dynamics for me, that does not fit. I, I will not be able to, because that's how I've grown up. In, my relationships, the way I grew up at home, uh, I've always seen the women in my family be in charge, take charge, make the money. They're the ones who are the bosses, they're the ones who make decisions. And that's something I've seen. Most of the houses, there's a time I was just seated and, and just watching outside. And you realize most of the houses, it's the women who are the breadwinners. When I think about my, my family, my cousins, my aunties, it's the women who were making money. Right. At some point, the men either <clears throat> fell off or they just weren't available or they left their families. So that's how I've grown up. 
And I just reached a point I decided for myself, I don't want to be the strong one anymore. I don't want to be the way Kina, my mom, my shoshos, my Siji Nani they've been. I want to break that because I see what it does to put a woman in her masculine energy consistently. She becomes very worn out. She, she has to do everything. She has to be in charge all the time. It's, it, it does wear you out. And I would hate for it to reach a point where with my partner, I start to harbor that kind of resentment. That's why I know for myself, nope. I've seen my mom do it. <laughs> I've seen my shosho do it. I've seen my auntie. I've seen the women around my life do it. Right. That's not what I want for myself. It will cause a burnout. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying, she, before time we get relationships, get to know yourselves, get to know what it is that you like and what it is that you can stand. Ukisha ukisha jua. Me, I don't mind uh, a man who wants to stay home, take care of the family, uh, he can cook, he can nini, 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 he can make his money online, Ama, I'll make the money. Whatever decision you make, make sure that is exactly what you want and that's what you can, you can tolerate and that's what you want for a relationship. Now, if you come to the house, you knew what it was. <laughs> you knew what it was when you were seeking this relationship out and when you were settling. And in the event that if you come to the point, you should should just be able to say, yo, uh, I'm, I'm not able to do this anymore. Is, is there a solution? Can you find a job? Ama, can we just be able to talk to your partners about these things? Now, even if it will happen, Siati, kuna guarantee you'll never lose your job. Ama, kuna guarantee, ama, kutafika point, even as a man, it might reach a point maybe you'd have mental health issues and you're physically and mentally unable to show up for work. Mm -hmm. Have these discussions with your partner. Talk about these things. Babe, if you point, Nico, too depressed to work. Do you think to a point where I'm able to take a gap here where I can rest and relax and you do this and me, I do this? Have these discussions. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to say relationship in a fake wavy, I'm in a fake wavy. But the more you people talk to each other and decide what you really, really want for yourself in the relationships, the easier it becomes for you to navigate and you won't settle for things you don't want alafu kombele uko um say sim die anymore right yeah. and that's that's the thing because <clears throat> you both have mentioned two different sets of the way people grew up on the one hand you said since we grew up watching our fathers uh, take charge and the people like that out there as well then there's the other hand the group that also bobby represents who grew up watching their mothers take charge so then you can get to choose there is yeah i don't want that for me but if you are a boy child, you can see a lot of struggles. You can see a lot of struggles. You can see a lot of struggles. I take care of me, let me just chill. Because I saw what it did to my dad. He was at that time, he was at that time. So, Mimi, I want to take a back seat. Take care of me, baby girl. I'm going to do my dad. I'm going to do my dad. I'm going to do my dad. That is trauma response you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to see a, a, a psychologist right. talk to. <laughs> call CJ, call Jasmine. What a good before you move. Yeah. But I just can't be here too. When I say imagine, I'll disrespect to na pataga, sisi. Na bado zina to na provide. Like we to let you go bala kejani. Yet zina to na provide. Like in this, I love the ladies know how to attack you, my friend. They go for your ego. They know when they start. What have you ever done for me? For all those years I've been with you. What have you ever done? So you you want me to quantify what I've done for you? And I think I've been giving you my life for the entire time. Right. They know how to go for your ego. You know. So I say, imagine. Come on, Agusagua. Right. reasonable. <laughs> Don't realize come and have a benefit if you do chini a meza. Yeah, man. And a pull up or shave with two of my even to root a cup at once. If not a bigger chin, evil. They are not copula your card. But let me tell you something <laughs> crazy. 
mtu mwenye anaweza penda mtu broke mm-hmm. genuinely na hajasoma ad mtu broke na hajasoma genuinely ni mwanaume mwanaume ndio atakubali kusetia standards na mtu wana do like kuna pata gamdema amekupiga pressure nunua igari wewe unatembea na gari gani una gari sija anatumia <laughs> na yeye ana baisikeli lakini anakuzetia standards ana ama hajatoka kwa bless hiyo gari yes hata hiyo gari kwa yake ana lakini wewe Yeah. umepigwa pressure hapa umezetiwa standards yes. aezi enda kukula kwa kibanda wewe unakula kwa hiyo kibanda lakini sasa yeye anakupeleka anakupeleka oh. unaona sasa hiyo kufa hiyo sasa unasetiwa standards <laughs> baba unaona vile bomi hapa mbona inapuliwa kwa sababu hiyo 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 this is how it feels that is how it feels class what you call it case study yeah man we want you to be like better you one see babe babe want you to be better Oh baby you know if you keep using this car you'll never grow we, we first of all need to get off this hood let's go to some other hood my friend on a move kuja ruishi ruishi runda kutolewa umo na hiyo inakonga after after wamekuwa na ile serikali inaitonga ni caucus yes after wamekuwa na caucus kambogi kambogi yao imeongea committee eh to agree na maldives nyama unasikia hiyo ah udakumbe wewe unajua kwa nyumba umeletoa pressure but i think the difference is sorry katishi the difference is what she's saying there are those who and you generally want to improve you uh, uh, there are those who wait but there are those who hold pressure eh, no, it was my time what can you what can you say okay maliza but that says what can you say there are those who uh they're pushing you that way yet they know in a constraint <laughs> not even in a way that you are uh, oh enlarge the place of habitation yeah. like it's stretching you you can't afford it mm. but they're pushing you mm. they know you can't afford that car but they're pushing they know you can't afford to live in that house mm. but they're pushing you so you end up being in debt making bad decisions just and they leave you and then the they, moment they break you they leave you yeah. <laughs> they moved the next uh, victim yes and, and, and when you start and, you, and a laugh, the worst part of it is that when they leave you to go to attack another victim you see the way a, a parasite would leave you to another uh, host mm. People will not realize you are a victim. Yes. So no, yeah, that's a victim. Yeah, that's a victim. Now you broke my heart. He just was not ready for change. You can't be like you are to But your time mtu alikuwa in love. Aezi ona vitu kama hizo. Anyway, that said, hata mimi mmeongea nikileta point zangu. But what I want to say is this, eh? Okay. For a boy child. Number one, You need to know that you have God-given responsibilities. It does not matter what god you serve. You know get it is not does not have to be a christian god or a rasta god a muslim god or a hindu god do your research. So so there are responsibilities that were given to you as you grew up that's why you are a man that's why you are masculine there's a way we umbwa for, for a specific reason. You know get and how find out just stop being lazy. Read ask questions look, look for people to talk to you ulize mbona first of all unajua ukikaa tu chini kitu ya kwanza unajiuliza mimi mbona niliumbwa mwanaume why am i like this mbona mwili wangu inazaendiwa so much mbona inaweza fanya abcd then from there you will start connecting dots una get but hiyo kitu ulisema about movies ni ati sometimes wanaweza mwa ku push agenda mm. kama sasa hivi kuna agenda tunaona zina push wana movies ndio mm. kwa sana sana to the black community we are seeing an agenda that is being pushed by movies mm-hmm. you see it is not our way of living mm-hmm. but they have decided th- we should we need to push this agenda to the black community mm-hmm. see ndio so hata hiyo ya mwanaume ku weakeniwa because me according to me that is weakening a man psc when you tunaongea in such forums tunachangia in the sense that we tell men to be in touch with their emotions mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. so when we already tell you be in touch with your emotions as a man and you get in touch with them someone else sees a loophole you know i will uh, now i'll capitalize on that it's good to be in touch with your emotions but to what extent how then do you realize that someone is manipulating your emotions that mm-hmm. you're in touch with to uh, to achieve a certain thing from you yeah when i get because there's a difference of telling a man to be in touch with his emotions and weakening him mm-hmm. when i get because yeah what in my feeling is that society is weakening a man that they do not so it has gone beyond telling them to be in touch with their emotions right. now you're being shown how to be weak how to be vulnerable in in bad ways like you see being vulnerable is okay but you have to choose who you see you have to have that consciousness in you that i will be vulnerable with bobby you know and i want to be vulnerable with abcd 
you know, get that decision making part of yours has to be intact and you have to guard it. Mm -hmm. But now people are attacking that and they're making you not aware. So that when decisions are being made for you, 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 are, you absorb everything. Mm -hmm. you know, get, you, you, you are, your frame is no longer there. <coughs> you, you are something that takes a shape of, of what. And there's this thing I Kitambo Salani Lisema that in this entire world, it is only a man that is being taught how to be a man. You know? Nobody is teaching women how to be women. In fact, let me narrow it down. It is a black man being taught how to be a man. In movies, in books, everything. The, how to be a man. You see? Do this. Stop doing that. Oh, this is toxic. Oh, this is toxic masculinity. Stop that. I was born a man. And I deserve the right to be like any other man. And I don't need anything else to make me a man. I was born a man. That's enough. You see? But every day, people have made it an agenda to teach a man how to be a man. Like they will remove things from you. There is that agenda that, and we have, since we have opportunity, we have to be aware and tell men that it is happening. Even fathers to be aware is in whatever they are doing is affecting their sons. Mm. and the way they grow. Unaleo. People might get to a point and realize unona yeje kina shata hii na kina wilis na kina siye hiyo is a lost cause. Atuwezi this idea. To delini na hii young generation iko uh, campus ama iko high school. You see, so see to feel we have guarded our frames, we are men. But hapa chini yetu generation inakuja inakuja ikiwa nusha vitu tofauti sana in how to be a man. Una get? So unapata amesha kuwa mtoko 22 years. Wewe umeenda maybe forum you want to show them how to be a man. Mm. What are you saying? You are so backward. Because yeah, she fundish you a shangine upper, yeah, yeah, before we talk about system yake, it is all now that is operating system now. You cannot do anything about it. So easy to know as in happens, I know it's monomia ku comfortable, kuekwa, as you provide. Even walking away from your children. Mm. You see, like that man would just walk away. And not care. Attach why piga si mo juoto yoko aji. Ama attach why to maintain bob. Unaelewa. And it is being made normal. Isn't it be too? Since when you talk about these forums, to refer to as you can vijana, that ni wrong. This is how you are. Like to ishini to like. Since you took these examples, because people since in the world to enable in the way to ishi, because we know. But we choose to ignore. It's not my battle. As long as in my family be na ishi to poor, what are you? You go as India. If CJ, I'm sure has impacted so many people, decided I know what is right, but it's already working for me. I have no business going to mentor Shata or Willis or any other person. What becomes of society? Mm. You see, men that have seen it out there need to be awake to it and know they have a responsibility. They were, they were said, you have a God-given responsibility to lead. You know, first lead yourself. Lead your offspring. So, so. Yeah, man. All right. Well, let's take a look at some of the comments uh, that uh, you all are talking about, Apple. So, so is, someone says, I'm a man in a marriage where my wife has <laughs> three times my salary. I mean, we are in great synergy. Mm -hmm. It's all about believing in the end goal of marriage, which is love and growth as a couple. Bills are settled together regardless of our pay. All right. One Labda ni wakumbushe who is a man. Man is a reward after solving someone's problem. So for a man to be kept means he is a residue, not a solvent. That one must be. It's not good for a man to be kept by a woman because who your woman and as answer could make rules zake kwa manume yenye si poa. Pastor Nicholas, kutoka yata andalani, anasema shame on this kind of game. It is ungodly. It is men who are mandated to toil and provide. Period. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor has said, I lost my job, and one day while away, my wife brought a lorry, carried everything in the house, left with our children. A year later, I got another job. Now my, my, my wife wants to return. I'm not sure what to do. I was kept while in campus some 14 years ago by some woman. It was fun. But the downside of it was we ended up doing too much drugs, alcohol, weed, enhancement drugs. Whenever we met, it affects me today in my marriage. I'm no longer a natural man, I regret. 
there's a regret there. Uh, but this other one who has a, a question, Afanya uh, Nini CJ, I'm saying he lost his job. He woke up, alikuja akabeba lori. Uh, I mean, lori kabeba mutuzaki, sorry. <laughs> Baka watu. Then paka plaza toto. <laughs> then now, he has another job, and the woman's like, okay, cool. Let me come back. What do you think? You see, even if, you know, the person who, the first response that we got. Right. Uh, he talked about the wife aunts three times. Three times. Mm. And I said from the onset, these are two different categories two different mm. of men. Um, if your wife is earning five times, ten times, we're not saying you're kept. Mm. Mm. These are very different kinds of people. Mm. Yeah. So coming back to the question of the gentleman who lost a job, you see, we talked about transitional uh, seasons as right. well. Yeah. You could lose a job, you could be unwell, you could be going through difficulty even in business. Maybe you've not even lost a job, mm. um, but you're in a tough season. At that particular point, the two of you need to agree on what you're going to do because right. you are a team and in partnership. If somebody can clean up the house because you lost a job, I'm not sure they should be back because you got another. Uh, conversations need to be held. Yeah a lot of conversations need to be held because what kind of trauma was going through this man's mind? What if he didn't get a job? And why would you rob him of the opportunity to be a father to his children mm. just because he lost a job? What kind of values are those being instilled in these children that we left dad because he lost his job, so now dad has a job, let's, let's go back go to him. Mm. You know, it wasn't a conversation that they had as a family and said because he has lost his job, we need to find a, a certain place and be safe. If that conversation had been held, it would be a different case where the man has agreed to the fact that I'm not able to take care of you now. If you f can find a place and be there uh, for a while as I try to get my way around, that would be a very different conversation. But you don't slap a man with an empty house. Right. Um, the lorry came, swept everything. He comes in there, the shame, the trauma, the disconnection. And then now he has a job then you want to come back. I think there's a very hard place for this man to be. Um, and uh, the children are innocent. The children are innocent, but he needs to have a conversation about where that relationship will be. Uh, he may decide probably to connect more with the kids, but for the lady, there has to be a lot of conversation mm -hmm. before they can get back together because yeah. I don't think there's any genuity. That's not a friend. There's no genuity there. Yeah. But people grow, you know? <laughs> Let me be the devil's advocate. <laughs> what she say? People grow. She, she no, er, people grow. Er, like, her like, like, so what is the skill of the growth? Still, eh? <laughs> the <is> money. Kuwa, <laughs> but at the end of it all, this man has to be aware for every possibility that will come his way. Mm -hmm. Because you see, he's saying he does not know. Uh, you see, I this he kitu nshia mbia broango itagwa sam to look to list kiza issue yamtu paali. Then he was ready to make a decision. Then I called him, Kandon Kamambia, when his mama was talking. What you need to capture is what she's not telling you. You know, in her words. There's what she's saying, but there's what she is not saying, but saying. So, Uchali, Nini Ajasema, Koyo statement yake. Badu anapenda udem. That, mm -hmm. yiko, that is why yeah, That's confused. why he's asking. That is why I'm entertaining conversation. Yeah. Sindio? Yeah. Kuna watoi in the picture. So he has to be aware to the fact that if I accept these people back out of emotions, I need also to be aware that e job ikiisha, this scenario can be repeated. Right. Not, so if you're welcoming them back, you have to know this. Sindio, he has to take time also to relearn this woman. He did not know her. Your time. If he knew her, then I ingi mstua vila lienda. So I ingi kwa relationship na mtu amujina wakaza. So Sai, he needs to take time and know this woman afresh. Is she the, that same kind of person? Mwenye nikikosa, hata nitoka tena. Ama lienda uko kapigwa character development na maisha. Asa hamejua, tunaeza ishi. Unaget, his of it is what I have to be alive in his head. Lazima alanu yu mtu tena afresh. Lakini the most important one, akumbuke. It can happen again. Right. When people show you who they are, trust them. Believe them. them. Alright. Alright, leo, wacha tufunye rekodi, tumalize at... <laughs> Nimesha sikia mziki. Tumaliza nine sharp. We? Lewata, excuse me, I'm accepting gifts. <laughs> uh, please do order us with that. Anyway, make sure you follow Shata Tiki Taka now, everywhere. Yeah, man. And now you Shata Tiki Taka everywhere. And also on Ready Citizen, uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. with 
and QT. Make sure you follow Roberta Bobby. Make sure you go to www.11orgasms.com and listen to the podcast. It will enhance. Kila kitu tukwa ital tena sana. So follow Roberta Bobby and on Twitter it's Roberta Bobby. Roberta Bobby. But yeah. the jine ni Roberta Fine. Bobby Fine. Bobby Fine. Bobby Fine. Bobby Fine. <laughs> right, there you go. And make sure you follow CJ at CJ Atemo uh, you know, on all his social media platforms as well and read his books, ask for his trainings. Yeah, na pia unaweza mdm kwa kuna shida kubwa. Hako na experience. Anaweza anaweza kusaidia. Yes, yes, yes. Like it's it. called man the mandate. Boys. Mandate yeah. Yes, mandate yes. consultant. Yes, mandate consultant. So yes, sasa so inaweza kwa pia uend up. See stop. Hi Basi. Peace and love. Pia ni follow Mimi Willis Raburu and I'd like to say a big shout out to Mr. Karanja who accepted to give me another year peace. God bless you. Najua mimi nisumbua lakini God is good. Haya. Peace and love.